Okay, let's fight. Quetzalan Hearts meet at a clearing at Jurassic World 5. Both dinosaurs have been starved, so the only option is to eat each other. Lots of rich people watch from the sidelines. Quetzal makes the first move and tries to bite hearts from a distance. Let's get this baby pumping. Quetzal Quatlus versus Hatsigopteryx. It's the battle of the flying dinosaurs. Yes, the first one ever on this channel. Yeah, yeah, I know technically these creatures aren't dinosaurs, but flying pterosauria isn't gonna get any clicks or views. And this ain't no clickbait, it's just good marketing. You can't have animations like this and call a video clickbait. Too much effort went into this. I mean, who else is putting in this much effort? Solo. Anyway, enough of me, on to the battle. The first Quetzalcoatlus fossils were discovered in Texas, United States, from the Maastrichtian Javelina Formation at Big Bend National Park, dated to around 68 million years ago, in 1971 by Douglas A. Lawson. When it was first named as a new species in 1975, scientists estimated that the largest Quetzalcoatlus fossils came from an individual with a wingspan as large as 15.9 meters, but it was later revised down to 12. Weight estimates for giant asdarkids are extremely problematic because no existing species share a similar size or body plan, and in consequence, published results vary wildly. But estimates put it at around 200 to 250 kilos, 440 to 550 pounds. Hatsigopteryx, meaning Hattig Basin Wing, is a genus of Asdarkid pterosaur, found in the late Maastrichtian deposits of the densest Chiula Formation, or Chiula, no idea. An outcropping in Transylvania, Romania. Ah, so he's a vampire, Hatsigopteryx. The largest of these remains indicate it was among the biggest pterosaurs, with an estimated wingspan of 10 to 12 meters, or 33 to 39 feet. But who would win in a fight? Well, let's find out. First some stats. Quetzalcoatlus. Height, five meters when standing. Length, nine meters long and a 12 meter wingspan. Weight, upper estimate 250 kilos. Bite force, no idea, had a beak. Speed, 35 miles per hour running and 80 miles per hour flying. Diet, Scientists are not sure. Some think they were like vultures, swooping down to feed on carcass. Others think they waded and probed sand and mud to find fish, crabs, and worms. Now onto the weapons of Quetzalcoatlus. Massive wingspan, heavily muscled neck, and a powerful long beak. And claws. Okay, now onto the stats of Hatsigopteryx. Height. 5.5 meters when standing, as tall as a giraffe. Length. 10 meters long and a 12 meter wingspan. Weight, 240 kilos. Bite force, no idea, had a beak. Speed, 35 miles per hour running and 80 miles per hour flying. Diet, same as Quetzal, but also medium sized dinosaurs. Now onto the weapons of Hatsigopteryx. Pretty much the same as Quetzal, but the neck of Hatsigopteryx was much stronger than that of Quetzalcoatlus. The neck vertebrae of Hatsigopteryx would be able to withstand four to seven body weights. Sounds like he's better at crushing. Okay, now onto the advantages of Quetzalcoatlus in this battle. Well, he had a much longer beak at around 2.5 meters. Probably ideal for picking up fish, but could also be used for long distance attacks. He was on average slightly heavier. Okay, now onto the disadvantages of Quetzalcoatlus. Well, despite being heavier, he may have been slightly shorter in height and length. He didn't possess as much hunting experience as hearts. His skull was less robust and the bite force was weaker. Now onto the advantages of Hatsigopteryx. As mentioned earlier, hearts was a little taller and hunted medium-sized dinosaurs, meaning more experience with battle situations. He had a much shorter and powerful beak, thanks to the powerful neck muscles. Okay, now onto the disadvantages of Hatsigopteryx. Well, he was lighter, very, very slightly, might have got pushed around. His beak was short, meaning he could be poked from a distance by Quetzal. Okay, let's fight. Quetzal and Hearts meet at a clearing at Jurassic World 5. Both dinosaurs have been starved, so the only option is to eat each other. Lots of rich people watch from the sidelines. Quetzal makes the first move and tries to bite Hearts from a distance. It does little damage. Hearts moves in close and bites Quetzal. It's a deep wound. 
Both dinosaurs take to the skies to continue the battle. Sorry, pterosaurs. Quetzal swoops down and pokes hearts. He almost tumbles down, but regains his balance. He bites back, twice. Quetzal flies away bleeding. Hearts is celebrating his victory. But suddenly, Quetzal swoops down at 100 miles per hour and turns hearts into a shish kebab. Dinner is served. Verdict. Both pterosaurs are evenly matched, so it's hard to tell who would win. But I'm gonna give the slight edge to Hearts. Even though he was unlucky in this particular animation, he's just more stocky, powerful, and has more hunting experience. Hunting medium-sized dinosaurs. 65% goes to Hatsi Gopteryx, the relative of Asterix. Okay, which dinosaur battle should I cover next? Please let me know in the comments below, and I might make it. Until next time, I've been Viral Killer. Check out my main channel, Viral Killer. Check out my dinosaur mugs.